All right, so let's armaments dual wield. Defend. Still going to take a hit here. There we go. Because now we're going to have a bunch of that. Of course, I've got to stack the strength first before it's really worth it. But that's okay. I'm a horror monster. Uh, I'm probably just going to go defensive and work on the slaver. I'd like to use the reaper, but we have no strength, so it's not really worth it. See, and since I got both attack relics, use anger relentlessly. That is a good point. I should I should use it uh, as much as I can. Okay. Armaments. No. Let's use Warcry. It's already upgraded. We might as well get some cards. Let's put away Emulate. It's not helpful here. Upgrade this. Anger. Strike. Strike. And he dies because of Panache. We get Strength. Some other things. And I'm just going to pop that. Doesn't help me at all. Well, that's okay. We need Sneko again. Again. Maybe. I'm not actually sure if this is a good run for Sneko Eye. It kind of would be. Demon Form, which makes Rampage cheap. That's gonna hurt. Luckily, I'm a healing machine. So in Flame, which makes a Defend free. So Defend, Bash, Rampage. I could just kill him. I actually don't want to kill him. Um, I'm gonna draw this out a little bit. Might not be a good idea. But, I really... Yeah, I could just one-shot him at any point. We need that Reaper to roll by. So I'll do that. Heal him, heal himself a little bit. If I could get white, uh, if I could get bite, that'd be magic. Okay, come on, Reaper. I know you're in here. He doesn't hurt me. Problem is, I'm getting too strong. And he's gonna kill himself. Alright, screw it. He dies. I was hoping I could get some more healing, but... No dice. And... Mm, unless we go Iron Wave. Let's go Iron Wave Plus. It comes pre-upgraded. It's worth it. So here's the question. What would we do? So I could smith, dual wield, or the other armaments. I could heal, which would be 35 HP, it'd put me up, or I could lift. The main problem is I got 37 HP, that's... Yeah, let's heal. I like lifting, but it's actually really not that helpful with this deck. Uh, it gives me a small bonus early on. Yeah, healing was a good idea. I tend to take some extra hits from this guy when I probably don't need to. Let's see, shrug it off, gets me a strike. I'll just rampage. But yeah, uh, because I've got so much... If I didn't have demon form and multiple in flames, uh, I think I'd care about it more. <gasps> yes. Okay, so we're going to dual wield panache. Panache. Other panache. Defend, defend. Uh, you know I should probably actually have used one of these dex potions. I'm not gonna need it. Uh, let's see, since it's only 14 damage, I'll just hit him. So I'm still gonna take 18 damage here. Uh, let's see. Left helps more with Reaper and gives me more than resting. Thing is though, like. Okay, let's put... Immolate? No, let's just put Strike away. We don't need it. Armaments. Inflame. Iron Wave is going to do 10. So I can do Iron Wave and Heavy Blade. Heavy Blade will kill one of them randomly. Let's see, we have two on Panache. So I'm going to hit this guy... 
and this guy. Triggers Panache, we get a whole mess of energy, which lets me use Demon Form, which also lets me use Strength, uh, Strike, so we get the... Yes! That is beautiful. But yeah, this is why I'm kind of iffy on Giria, if I, if I needed to heal. Because if I'd actually... If I hadn't healed, I would think I'd be... How much am I down? 18? Yeah, I would have been at like 20 HP. That would have been a little little sketchy. A little sketchy scary for me. Uh, let's upgrade Anger. Because I'm going to be duping Anger pretty hard here. Anger. Clash. Strike. And that buffs my stats even higher. This is a good combo. This is a really good... This is a really good combo. The only problem is it does... Uh, like... Like a lot of my decks, it doesn't have very good burst. So if we run into the Book of Stabbing, uh, it's problems. Oh well. Okay. So we've got... Anger. Anger. Rampage, strike, and then just wait. If you can find Disarm, the Book of Stabbing is very easy. Yeah, it's just a matter of finding Disarm is where it becomes a problem. Okay, so strike his armor off, heavy blade him. He's not dead yet, he's very close. So, pretty much... Actually, anything would knock him over at this point. Reaper! Kind of wish I had feed as well, but... Oh, well. Okay. Ooh. Uh... How about that? I keep forgetting about the double panache, I think. I just kind of didn't care. If I know I'm going to win, I start playing less optimally because it doesn't matter. So, a second Reaper would be nice. Bludgeon is really strong, but it doesn't scale well. Demon Form works amazing, amazingly with this deck, Bludgeon. But here's the thing. If I just... Oh, hi, Sozu. Yeah, let's go Sozu. I, don't, I barely even use potions. This deck doesn't need it. But yeah, Double Demon Form is going to be really, really strong. Uh, let's see. So, as usual, we want to be hunting mid-bosses and going into bonfires. Um, we could go here. It's three mid-bosses in a row without a single bonfire. That's a little iffy. Well, do I do it? I mean, I've got a very strong run. It's, the main question is if we run into, like, Nemesis or something. How much trouble am I in? Left. Mid-boss, bonfire, no... I see the bells would have been plus 18 HP. Yeah, but one extra energy per round is amazing. Yeah, what boss are we up against? Time Eater. Which is actually fine. Um, So, option A. Very strong mystery machine. One mid-boss. Option B. Uh, oh. Kind of bad mystery machine. Let's see. Left, then back. For two bonfire, uh, two bosses and a bonfire. You mean this one, or this one? I. It really is all or nothing. I think. Oh, I see. I could go this way. And get two mid bosses that way. You know, that's not actually a bad roll. We get three on the mystery machine, two regular enemies, two bonfires right before mid-bosses. Yeah, three bosses and a bonfire, two bosses and two bonfires. Yeah, the main problem is, if I'm really injured by the time we get here... Ooh, 
Yeah, two or three are fine. I'm just mostly thinking, uh... I risk it too much, we don't make it to the boss. However, this is a really strong run. I should just go mid-boss hunting and just deal with the consequences. Yeah, let's just go for it. I mean, we've beaten this game so many times, who cares if we don't make it to the end? I mean, I care a little bit, but at the same time, I don't feel like I'm going to be missing out that bad. Armaments to the Rampage. Let's see. Rampage, Weakest Link, and Clash. It's a very strong run, so we should be, we should be fine. Uh, especially because I can actually farm anything for health with Reaper. Okay, so let's do Warcry. Let's put Reaper back. They're about to hit me kind of hard. Oh well, Demon Form. Which makes one of the defends free, which lets me do another defend. Uh, and then I can just do Anger on any of them. Do I want to do Anger this early? Yeah, whatever. To actually hit them a little bit. Let's see. They're gonna hit me again, so let's do Demon Form. Which makes Strike free. Alright. Iron Wave. Strike. Which gets me a little bit of energy, which gets me another defend. I don't take any damage here. I don't think I can actually reap these guys for HP from what I remember. Let's see. None of them are going to hit me. Well, let's do armaments. Heavy blade. Heavy blade. Yeah, okay. Very convincing argument for mid-boss hunting. I don't have a whole lot of burst, but I'm not sure if I need it. Let's get another war cry. Okay, you can reap them. You can't gain ma max HP. Alright, so I could lose defend plus, demon form plus, or anger. I'm going to lose anger. I've got enough energy that I don't need anger right now. And these battles are short, so it just ends up being kind of small. Because I don't want to lose defense. No way. Screw that. It's used to feed on them, what changed? Because you could scum them with infinite feed. It was hilarious, but also way broken. Alright, uh, let's see. So he's going to hit me for 10. I'm going to put... I'm going to put Inflame, I think, away. Let's do Armaments, Demon Form, Bash, and we can't do Clash, but that's okay. I'm not even hitting a shop, though. I... Honestly, with these relics, I don't need to hit a shop. It would be nice, and we do actually have one question mark space uh, to run into a shop, but, like, I would I would rather go mid-boss hunting. I think of this, so let's, um, let's see, I've got three energy. Put away the strike. Especially because I get the strike back almost immediately. Oh, he's almost dead already. Wow. Yeah, I said I didn't have much burst, but heavy strike is like the most ridiculous thing ever. Like the double demon form, I'm not even going to be able to use on a whole lot of things. And that's okay. Let's see, do I get another Shrug It Off? Pommel Strike, kind of nice, but doesn't really matter that much. Let's get it. Okay, we're up against the Maw. Still bugs me a little bit that this guy isn't considered a mid-boss. Scale him up a little bit further, and he'd totally qualify. Okay, so Warcry. Let's put Shrug It Off on top. Warcry again. War cry. Defend. Defend. Uh, I could have actually done this a little bit better. Oh well. Actually, I don't know if I could have. 
I guess if I stayed a no. I don't know. I hate them all. Okay, so panache. Shrug it off. So we have three energy, one is free. So let's do bash, rampage, strike. Increases my dex, this is gonna hurt, but that's that's fine. Of all the enemies we'd have to deal with, the Maw is actually one of the least deadly. So in flame, demon form, defend, defend. Yeah, this guy actually hurts really badly. But if we bide our time a little bit, I can reap most of that HP back. Armaments, shrug it off, dual wield demon form. And then we're going to upgrade them all. I don't know if I'm going to get the chance to use them. Uh, I don't even know if that was a good idea. But I can get really, really buff here. Let's do demon form. Iron wave. Heavy blade. Let's see, see how high I can get my strength. It's not a good idea against the maw. The maw generally outstrips how much damage I can heal. I can heal 20 right now. Or I could dual wield Reaper. I'd use the other demon form. Let's not be stupid. Let's armaments. That really didn't increase it that much. And shrug it off. And I don't. Re I really didn't need the second demon form here, but we want to farm this guy for strength before he becomes a problem. Like so. Okay, rampage, strike, clash. Very close to kill. Very close to killing him. Okay, he's actually not going to be able to kill me. He's going to kill himself before he can actually get through my defense. And that's, yeah, that's that's a fine amount of HP. Don't care about these. Definitely don't care about these. Now let's go take on a mid-boss. We're up against Giant Head. Which actually makes this really enticing. That's Warcry. Put away Shrug it off. Warcry again. Put away Shrug it off. A Reaper. Let's put away Reaper. Armaments to upgrade demon form. Demon form to make something random free, which is a defend. I don't hit him, but we get, we start scaling our defense immediately. Okay. At least the Maw isn't the giant death head. I actually find the giant death head to be significantly less, uh, less of a problem. Maybe it's just me. So I don't actually really want to dual wield here. But I do. Rampage, Rampage, Rampage. That gets me the stat up. I would have liked to do re uh, Heavy Blade. Maybe? Eh, would have made that much of a difference. But now we've got three buffed, uh, buffed Rampages in the deck. And my stats went up a little bit. Yeah, the only thing that would make this run more ridiculous would, ha would be having the top as part of my tableau. Okay. Yeah, the head hurts. The head hurts pretty bad. Wish they had more animations on full release. I think they're getting more, actually. Like, a fair bit more. I should have defended before I, I had bashed, but don't care that much. But it, I know there are, I know for a fact that they're adding more animations in the future. Okay, so I'm blocking 30. I can use all of them. And that gets that gets me the stat up. And yeah, the reason why I'm not too worried about the uh, the giant stone head is because 
Of all of my decks, this one actually probably has the best scalability I've ever seen. The only main problem I'm looking at is... Uh, kind of right here. Uh, let's just do Defend, Defend, Armaments, which doesn't really trigger much. And Rampage. We'll take, what, two damage? That's not so bad. All I need is a heavy heavy strike to, to roll by, and we insta-give him. And there it is. Okay, so let's start with Reaper, get some HP back, and Heavy Blade for 200 damage. Okay, so we get the Frozen Eye, the Old Coin. Most are, mo Both of those are kind of bad. And t -t 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 Combust is tempting, but I think I'm going to go Infernal Blade. Because it almost always results in fun things. Yeah, I don't I don't want combust. We'll skip the potion. And let's lift. Yeah, I'm very rich. If we're lucky, this will be a shop and I can go nuts. Who knows? Flex is good. Flex is not that good though. Okay, so what do we got? Infernal Blade gets me an Iron Wave. I'll take it. Uh, let's see. I should probably actually work on killing these guys. Shrug it off. Take no damage. Uh, let's see. Reaper's not going to do enough. We have Immolate, which is a good backup here. Okay. And that's all we needed. We're good. Oh, this is going to give me a bunch of uh energy, I think, for the next for the next round. No, it doesn't. Damn it. I really wish it would uh carry over. Okay, card to put on top of my draw pile. I have no idea. Get away, Bash. Now I could... I'm not going to take too much here. So let's dual wield Demon Form. Demon Form. Demon Form. And Defend. Then Warcry. We don't have Panache. I was kind of hoping Panache would show back up. Uh, I'm just going to put Shrug it off on top. So I take no damage. We have to worry about the burns. But that won't be a problem. Wander misses the flavor of ice cream sometimes. I miss the flavor of ice cream all the time. Ice cream is my favorite. All right, let's upgrade armaments. Shrug it off. Strike. Kill him. Heavy blade, very helpful. Uh, let's see, so I've got enough defense. Let's just insta-give the fire orb before it comes for me. Iron wave, which I believe increases my stats, yes. I don't know, just defend. Yeah, the burns suck. But I'll live. Demon form, in flame. I probably should have done that in reverse. But at the same time, I think he dies? No, he gets very close to dying. So very close to dying. See, what is Wander's favorite flavor of ice cream? It's a toss up between mint and cookies and cream. I've always been partial to both of those. Mint is nice and refreshing, and cookies and cream, when done well, is just so satisfying. Uh, let's see. Rage is actually kind of good. Let's go Rage. Remember when Wander almost died this run? I know. It's weird. I was down to, what, 3 HP? It was scary. Speaking of scary, these guys kind of suck. But not that much. Okay, Panache. Warcry. Uh, let's put... They're going to hit me kind of hard here. I'm going to put Heavy Blade away. As much as I'd like to use it here. I'm more interested in just avoiding the damage. I really wish uh, that was for unblocked damage only, but I kind of understand why. Okay, so demon form. 
Rage. Infernal Blade. Gets me a Clash, which is really helpful. I'm still going to take a hit on this one, but at least I block some of it. But yeah, I really like... I really like those two flavors of ice cream. There are a couple others that I'm, like, kind of enamored with, but not that much. Let's see, 49 damage. Hmm. I can do Reaper. Kills them both, heals me. 51. I'm only going to be able to do 49. Is there... Ah, yes. Because of Gremlin Horn, I actually, uh... I got the extra energy there. So we have Duvu Doll, not that helpful. Peace Pipe, also kind of useless. But that's okay. Sword Boomerang is really good. Let's actually get Offering. I heal often, so I can use that. Why is the Star Rune flashing? It's because I was fighting a mid-boss. Ooh, Serpent. Ow. Okay, Warcry. Uh, let's see. He's going to hit me for 16. I'm going to put Immolate away, just because Immolate is never actually helpful here. Strike. Flash. Strike. And doesn't hurt me. Now, I don't think he actually constricts me until, uh, constricts me until he actually uses it. Okay, what does the pipe do? Pipe lets me... Uh, Sorry, distracted. Let's upgrade Offering? Yeah. Offering. Infernal Blade. Shrug it off. Shrug it off. Demon Form. Should have dual wielded the, dual wielded the Demon Forms, but whatever. Iron Wave. Iron Wave. And strike, which gets me the stat up. I'm fine with that. Um, but yeah, pipe lets me remove cards, which is pointless. I've got a pretty well curated deck. Okay, what do we put on top of the draw pile? Get out of here, rage! You're not useful. Armaments, panache, nope. Demon form, bash, defend. There we go. So you should attack three times before I do the defense. Um, the main reason why I don't do that is I'm not actually sure if I'm going to have enough time. Uh, I'm not exactly the best at... ...figuring these out. Eh, I'm just gonna kill him. I could have reapered him, but I guess it didn't really matter. Don't care about that. Don't care about these. Yeah, I think we'll I think we'll we'll be fine against the ah, damn it, I was really hoping for a shot. Okay, so Warcry. Do I I'm gonna put dual wield away just in case we get demon form to roll by. Alright, so which one of these guys do I hate? I'm gonna arbitrarily pick on this guy. That gets me another one. Which gets me dual wield, son of a... Uh, well, whatever. I guess I'll just start picking on that guy. Yeah, this is a very strong combo. I think this is actually one of the first times I've ever had Shuriken and Kunai in my deck in a situation where I could actually, like, make use of it. Like, full use of it. So let's do Panache. Warcry. Let's put away... I'm gonna take 16, but I don't think that's gonna be a problem. Armaments. Rage. Demon form. Other armaments. Strike. Clash. And my defense is way high, and my strength is going to go up nicely. Let me see. Infernal Blade. Blood for Blood. That's helpful. Alright, Blood for Blood. Strike. Strike. 
Go to demon form some more, but it... Oh, guy in the back still alive. All right. Didn't even realize. Well, I can farm energy off these suckers. It'd be nice if I had calipers as part of this. Do we... We have one more mid-boss, yeah. Let's see if it's, uh... Let's see if it's Nemesis. I've, I feel pretty good about my chances against Nemesis tonight. All right. In flame. Rampage. Reaper. And Heavy Blade for the overkill. God, if I could carry over strength between runs, it would be amazing. I, I'm actually going to get Rupture. It makes a card free, which is helpful. And no, our mid-boss is Giant Head again. Man. you think this guy would have gotten enough by this point. Boo. Alright, let's put away the defend. Right, let's see if... Yeah, I can most definitely do this. Probably. All right, well, we have, uh, we just got double de our double demon form right off the bat. So by the time this guy's ready to start wailing on me, I'm just going to be ready to heavy strike him into the, into oblivion. Uh, and then I'm actually just going to get rid of one of those defense. I don't think I'm going to need it so hard. The head's back for revenge. I don't think the head's getting it today. I don't think the head's getting it today at all. Okay, so what do we have? Infernal Blade gets me Searing Blow. I don't know if I want to dual wield any of these. I don't think I care. I should have. I would have been able to hit him one more time. Oh well. Like, doesn't matter that much. All right, so we could do Offering. Let's do Shrug It Off first. You know what? Let's do Offering anyway. Because those are them some options. Uh, it's... I'm just going to put away Random Strike. Do... I could do Armaments, but I don't know if I need it. No, I don't, I don't need it. Uh, so I got Reaper, which will heal me up to full. Let's do it preemptively. Get it out of here. Uh, I don't know. Defend, just so we take no more damage. And then heavy blow for 156. Oh, boy. I really want there to be... I, I hope they add another tier to this game soon. That is just straight up... Uh, has, like, the giant head... As, like, it's full body. It's about... It's 110 damage. Oh, because it's the unupgraded version. Okay. We take one damage. That's fine. I'm not worried. I'm definitely not worried. This is... This is really easy. I was really hoping for something a little bit more... Impressive than this. Oh, well. I have... Okay, those are things that I was looking for. Uh, do I get Rampage Plus? I don't think I care. My deck's, my deck's full as it is. Okay, so the Maw is actually probably the most dangerous thing here. Uh, it's Warcry. Put away Rage. I don't need it right now. Demon Form. Rupture, Defend, Iron Wave. Yeah, Birdface Urn and Thread Needle are going to make me very strong. Almost at a thousand gold. Yeah, I'll make it there. But you don't need it, but still. Okay. So this is going to hurt a little bit. It's not going to hurt that much. Okay, so let's do Rage. Strike. Strike. Immolate. Gets me the stat up, and then I'll take what? Two damage? That's not bad. So you haven't seen the, uh... Bird face turn yet. Uh, it heals me every time I use a power. Which is really good. Right, let's use armaments on dual wield. Dual wield reaper. Strike. 
And I'll just pop one of the Reapers, because I've got multiple of them, and I might as well get them out of the way. Let's see. But yeah, Birdface Urn is really good on these runs. Maybe on this one it's a little bit less useful. But that's okay. Uh, do we do Shrug It Off? now? Nah, let's do Offering. I can deal with the damage. I maybe shouldn't have. Uh, let's do Warcry first. Alright, what do I put away? I'm going to put away Heavy Blade, because he's going to hit me pretty hard on this one. And it was already pre-upgraded. Okay, cool. So next up, Demon Form. Makes Shrug It Off free, which means I could, could bring that back. But instead, I'm going to Defend, Clash, Rampage. And I take three damage. See, if the dead sl devs thought of a, an Endless Mode, yes. They said that they want to add it. I hope they add it soon, even if it's, like, janky and bad. Because I'd actually rather have a, a janky and, like, unfair... Um, I'd, I'd rather have a janky and unfair... Uh, endless mode than no endless mode at all. Maybe. At the same time, I would like to... Uh, I would actually like to do different runs. As fun and strong as this, this run is... Okay, so I'm at max gold. I could upgrade a demon form, or I could lift. It's actually better that I upgrade the demon form. I think. Or I could upgrade dual wield. What do you guys think? Because lifting just gets me one strength. Not that helpful unless I was using limit break, and I'm not using limit break here. Even though it would be fantastic. Ooh. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Uh, so if you didn't, if you didn't know, pressing, um, pressing shift. Holy shit! Some of these are amazing. Uh, pressing shift pulls out the, uh, pulls out the programmer art for this game. Uh, left shift, and I keep forgetting to do it, and I think I need to remember it a little bit more often. I wish it was a toggle actually, because. Uh, some of these are amazing. So Heavy Blade, alright. Reaper, alright. Immolate, yeah. Shrug It Off is kind of amusing. Uh, it's actually pretty similar. Armaments, yeah, makes sense. It's interesting how much uh, crossover there is. Clash, Bash. Dual Wield, it's amusing. Demon Form is hilarious. It's a dude in a bear suit, just either putting on or taking off the, uh, the head. My favorite is Rampage. Took me a little bit to figure that one out. It was like, Ram Page... Oh, you know, look at my whole deck through the menu or the library. Yeah, after this, I think I'm gonna go press shift and we'll take a look at things. So let's uh let's upgrade demon form. I'm gonna see if I can uh I'm gonna see if I can uh dual wield it a couple of times. But yeah, Ironclad is better with the programmer. It's very obvious that uh, Ironclad was the first character that they made for this game. Okay, so let's do shrug it off. Shrug it off. Rage. Defend. Iron Wave. Clash. Strike. Okay, we only have four for the next one, but I've got to... Well, I'll be fine. I don't... Ironclad is pretty much the hard counter to Time Eater. I don't think I've ever had a run against Time Eater that Ironclad generally just didn't beast single-handedly. Hemokinesis I'm not a very big fan of. Let's just do Defend and then a cheap Heavy Blade. This one's gonna hurt. Does Shift work in battle? Yes, it does. Uh, but I'd like to focus on this and we'll just take a look at the library when we're done. Okay, so Rupture is good, especially because we got he Hemokinesis lying around. Warcry. I'll just put back one of the strikes. Panache. Rampage. Strike. And we wait. Yeah, Hemokinesis is good for Rupture decks. It is. Uh, I would totally agree with that. Warcry. Okay, let's put away... Strike. We're gonna dual wield in flame. In flame. 
in flame. Armaments, defend, defend. Good timing. Uh, he gets a little bit of a damage boost. Oh, he gets a hefty damage boost, actually. That, this one's going to hurt. It's okay. I'm getting stronger by the second. He is only getting marginally so. Okay, now we more or less need to just start wailing on him. Alright, so demon form. Armaments. Strike. Wait. Ow. Let's hope Reaper shows its face so I can heal. I might get killed just because of uh, how this is pacing out. I think I'll be fine. Alright, so I can do... Uh, yeah. Bash. Heavy Blade. Almost kills him. All we need is another Heavy Blade and we're golden. Yeah, so now he's going to try and heal himself. Shrug it off. Armaments plus. Strike. Hemokinesis. Yeah, it was a little closer just because this deck had uh, kind of piss poor defensive capabilities. Uh, but it was fine. I really wish I had stopped by, uh, had the chance to stop by a shop, but at the same time, mid boss hunting, I'm not gonna say saved that run, but it definitely did make it a lot more fun. Uh, max gold and everything. Okay, so like I, like I was saying, let's take a look at uh, some of some of the cards with the programmer art on. I'm just gonna kind of go down all of them sort of slowly. Uh, see if there's any that are particularly amazing. I like Havoc. That's that's definitely some pretty hefty uh, programmer art. Sword Boomerang's kind of goofy. These really do remind me of Ludosity programmer art, art things. You could tell they were pretty inspired for Wild Strike, but they didn't have the uh, the capacity to do it. Blood for blood. Yay. Huh. And yet, it's the art that ended up uh, in the end results was actually surprisingly uh, true to the programmer art, as goofy as that is. Yeah, Carnage. Wild Strike, Warcry. Let's see, Bloodletting. Combust is just cute. Dropkick. Entrench. Entrench is amusing. Let's see, can you rip the heart or not yet? No, you can't do anything to the heart yet. Let's see. True Grit is just a cowboy. Did we go by True Grit? Oh yeah, it is, it is, it is just a cowboy. It's spitting into a spittoon. Ghostly Armor. Flame Barrier. Has no art. Fire Breathing. Hot Sauce. <laughs> Feel no pain is duct tape off their arm. Uh, which unfortunately did not make it into the end result, but that's okay. Hemokinesis, Infernal Blade. Reckless Charge. <laughs> hey, what is that? Like a $100,000 charge? I like Rage. They were definitely going for stuff there. Power Through is just terrifying. Let's see, Seeing Red. Yep. Shockwave. <laughs> Spot weakness. Yeah. <laughs> it, it is weirdly true to form on a lot of these. Not all of them, though. Uppercut is uh, is adorable. Bludgeon is great. A little graphic, maybe, but pretty great. <laughs> Feed is just a burger. I like Limit Break. That guy is having some, f some fun. Okay, let's take a look at the silent. Unfortunately, there's not as much. <laughs> Cloak and dagger. Hey. Let's see what else is there. Dodge and roll. I actually really like the programmer art for dodge and roll. It's probably one of the last ones they did because it's a marked improvement over pretty much all the other ones. <laughs> they really weren't trying for flying knee. Look at that just copy pasted explosion effect. 
Poison Stab, Quick Slash, Underhanded Strike. Let's see. Blur, Calculated grant, Gamble, hmm. Dash, Distraction. Footwork's kind of amusing. Infinite Blades. Yeah, I think they got a little less jokey with the, um, with the Silence program art, which is a bit of a shame. Oh. Yeah, Skira's, Skira's even the same. <laughs> Bullet time? Wow. What? Oh, is that, like, Donu, maybe? I think that's Donu. Die, die, die. <laughs> I like Phantasmal Killer. Which, again, weirdly true to the programmer art-ish. Okay, and that's it. Uh, oh yeah, the colorless cards. You know, I want there to be a character that just only can use colorless cards, but just gets like a shit ton of them for some reason. Finesse is a crab with a needle and thread. Huh. I don't get apotheosis. Necessarily. <laughs> Enlightenment. Wow. Oh, it's the beginning of that, that weird shrew monster with the rat corpse going around. Like, around it. Secret weapon. <laughs> I, think, I think that's one of my favorite. Just try spatula with some kind of spinny weird nonsense. Oh, I like that. <laughs> 